Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. Our Sky 4 helicopter bringing you this live look at Jacksonville Beach, which will be open longer hours starting Monday from 6 in the morning through 8 o'clock at night. Mayor Curry announced the new hours today, but he also emphasized the same rules will be in place for social distancing and also what you're allowed to do while you're at the beach. It's still limited to physical activity only, and the expanded hours will also apply to Atlantic and Neptune beaches. At the same time, we're working to get answers about the next steps for Jacksonville to reopen and how Duval residents can apply for a local $1,000 stimulus payment. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Piggott begins our coverage of the coronavirus and joins us live on the south side. And Jim, you've been asking the mayor about both of those issues. That's right. And really what he's talking about is getting Jacksonville back online. And let me start with businesses because he says we could see some businesses reopen next week. Mayor Curry wouldn't give specifics on what businesses would be allowed to open first, but it's believed restaurants would be allowed to let people back inside at tables if the current trend of low positive test results for COVID-19 continue in Jacksonville. The mayor believes the city has acted responsibly. Perpetual lockdown is not gonna, is not gonna work. The virus is with us. Uh, so we've got to be able to move about and get people's businesses running so they can take care of their families. Uh, and we just are all going to have to be responsible individuals in this process. Depending on if the governor lifts the stay-at-home order soon, the mayor says the city is ready to make the reopen move. But not everything will open at once. It will be gradual. The mayor also addressed the issue of the local stimulus payment of $1,000. Later this week, a website will be up to allow people to make appointments, and afterwards, they will come downtown to the library or another location to present paperwork showing that they've been employed and lost 25% of their household income. They will be given a payment card. Many have questions about that card and how it can exactly be used. So on the uh, payment cards, Jim, they will be able to be used at any kind of merchant as any type of uh, payment card would normally be able to be used. We're not aware that they can be transferred at a bank. You know, for instance, if you take it into a bank and you try to move the money into your account, um, that will not work and they will not be able to be used at an ATM. However, um, they can be used just like any other credit card with an online retailer or anywhere in person. You know, and again, we're still getting lots of questions regarding the stimulus thing. It's only for 40,000 households here in Duval County that make less than $75,000, and it's one per household. Again, that website should go up sometime this week. They haven't said when, and they're hoping by next week, maybe the end of next week, people can actually start getting some of that money in their pockets. We're live on the south side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.